Good morning, dogs. Beautiful morning. One of the first words I learnt in Portugal was amanhã, which means tomorrow. And I think it's worth remembering that tomorrow is another day. Queen of the farm. Yes, you. Finally got a mixer, cement mixer. And this barbecue was on special. I'm at the Intermarché. I've done my washing and uh, I came to start the car. And it seems like the battery is flat. And I don't know how that happened because it started no problem this morning. I drove it to Maxmat. I drove it here. I don't know why the battery is flat. Um, so luckily at Intermarché there's a roadie which is a road uh, like a car spares and car mechanic place there. So I went there at half past 12 and said can you come and help <laughs> just jump stop my car and uh, they said no they're going on lunch break they'll be back at half past two. So I'm sitting now in my hot car. I went and had something to eat at Intermarché. But I've been sitting here now for half an hour waiting for them to finish their lunch break to come and jump stop my car. These carrots are basically done. So I'm going to pull them out for the pigs. And I'm also going to take off some of these cabbage leaves because I don't think it's going to form a head. So it'll all be pig food. Not the biggest carrots in the world, but they're from the garden. Mating bugs. Okay, no milk yet. This place in Val de Preseres is the best place um, to fill up water because it's just running all the time. I'm not having to turn a wheel and then run and put a bottle down. Um, so if I'm on my way to Pundao, this is the place to stop and just fill up a whole lot of water bottles. Because it's just so much easier. So although I've got the new well, I still have to set up irrigation. Quite a full car. So I've got water bottles, I've got soil, I've got some uh, bedding stuff. And I managed to get from the market a whole lot of um, vegetable leaves. And I asked for that in Portuguese too, so I'm really impressed. <laughs> Edward, hand up hands. <laughs> Ooh, piggies are ready for some food. Yes, Tundra, we're coming to feed the piggies. Piggy, piggy, piggies. Piggy, piggy, piggies. Yes, cheesecake. Tim Tam. What? You want to be the center of attention. Mm.
Okay, so if the rock is down here, it's above my head, I would say this well is only about maybe 1.8 meters. Yeah, but maybe a little bit higher, but six feet, but I'll measure this at home. And so the sun goes down on another productive day. So it takes, I don't, know, I don't know if it takes three days, but I'm actually using water from the water mine every third day for the pigs. Um, and when I fill up the blue barrel and that, it, um, it just, yeah, takes out what is in here and then um, it, yeah, I just leave it alone and then I just use um manually carrying in water that days in between so i use this just to fill up the big blue barrel and to create some wallows and then leave it to slowly refill again so my beautifully made <laughs> fence that i did oreo pushed through this part this morning um because usually i feed his pen last and he decided he wanted to be fed quickly so um, he pushed through to get into candy and maggie's pen um they eating down there so um i didn't let him eat any of their food i've managed to get him back into his own pen but i'm now trying to move this massive big rock to put over here and just board it up with more rocks to try and stop him he's only coming in because yeah he didn't want to wait his turn he thought he could be clever hey George you wait your turn hey eh? you're a good boy yes you're a good boy Yes, Candy, come look here. There's a wallow over here. No, not my legs. Not my legs. Look. Come look here. We can go for a swim. You want to go for a swim? No, there's nothing. This bucket is empty. Yes, you can look at the bucket. Hopefully this will help a bit. I'll just keep adding more stones keep adding more stones to this you can see they got a nice wallow over here the girls oh early morning swim with the beach ball oh lovely working this morning to get the irrigation set up again some of it I don't know where it went but we're just starting it 
basically from scratch here again it is so dry here The ground is so hard that there is no way to get these wire spikes in. The wire just bends. Can't. And I've tried to like hammer it with a, um, a mallet and all that happens is the wire just goes flat and um, yeah, so that putting it back is not that easy. The wire system's not working. So I've got no mom at wit's end as to how to put this one in because if you go in the soft area, it just jumps back up again. And you can't put it in in the hard area because the ground is too hard. So other than like standing upright next to the tree, I don't know what else to do with this one. I'm at my wit's end. Okay, I found a couple of rocks to at least keep it flat. Um, so that's not standing up in the air anymore. Hopefully the rocks won't stop the water from going through. Okay, so there's no point in even trying to get this started because um, it's broken and um, I actually have no idea how to fix it I mean I don't know what to do so not going to be able to water my fruit trees or vineyard or anything because the water is just going to rush out from here I don't know. I don't know how this happened, how it seems to have, yeah, I don't know. It's broken. So I am making sweet chili sauce today. So um, if you want to find out how to make it, I'm not going to film me making it or this recipe because I actually already have a video on how to make the easiest and best tasting sweet chili sauce ever so um, I'll put a card up for it um, and I'll also put a link to the sweet chili sauce recipe in the description below um, I'll also put in a link to how to make sausages video because um, I did a video on that as well a while ago so I'll have the link to both the sausage making video and the sweet chili sauce video in the link below. Or, sorry, in the description below. Right, all blended up, ready to go in the wok. Right, two jars of sweet chili sauce and a nice container for we are too. So not bad for this morning. Right, time to offload yesterday's shopping. It's one thing buying it and then you have to offload it all. Right, both dogs are coming for their vet checkup at Medical Vet today. Yes! So 
Tandy has a boo-boo on her leg because they took some blood from her at the vet. Hey Tandy, and she was very good and very well behaved. And so Tandy had, she had, was dewormed, she's defleed and everything. And now she's just had the blood test she needs to do before she can get spayed. So I have bought two camping toilets. Let's have a look. So when you're an old woman, you don't want to have to run outside in the middle of the night to go and pee. Oops, here goes the box. So I got a camping toilet for inside and then I got one for when Louise comes to visit when she goes camping in her tent. So I nearly killed myself lifting this big rock this morning and dinner time and Oreo has done exactly the same thing again same spot um yeah same spot uh he seems to think that the girls get fed before him so if he breaks through uh he's going to get fed over here first but i'm not letting him eat this food but the others are all going to get through here so i need to try and do something again okay i've carried a whole lot more rocks let's see if this helps so Juno also had her deworming, her tick and flea stuff, and her five-in-one vaccine. She goes back in four weeks to get her rabies shot and her microchip. So while at the vet, I also had uh, Tandy tested for canine leishmaniosis. And um, luckily the test was negative. And then the vet asked if I wanted her to be vaccinated against it. And the vaccination is quite expensive. I didn't even ask for the price. I said, this is a very special dog. I don't want anything to happen to Tandy. So um, I had her vac vaccinated against uh, leishmaniosis. So um, all together, um, uh, so both dogs dewormed um, and um, that spot on stuff put on for ticks and fleas. Um, Juno's five in one vaccine, uh, Tandy's blood taking, and um, uh, he also cleaned Tandy's ears. She had an infection. Well, that's not really an infection. He couldn't find anything wrong, but her right ear was a bit inflamed. So he um, has given me some antibiotic stuff to put in her ear and also special cleaning stuff for her ears as well. So all of that, with this expensive vaccine for leishmaniosis, um, means that uh, it cost 198 euros. So for those people who are planning on moving to Portugal and wanting to bring pets, that's an idea of the price you pay for two dogs, getting them seen by the vet and all their vaccines, shots, deworming, etc., etc., etc. Thank you so much to Lindsay, Ruth and Jane for your generous PayPal donations. It's enabled me to buy an electric cement mixer, which is an absolute game changer for me. I suffer from uh, spinal stenosis, so mixing lots of mortar by hand for all the building I've got to do is hell on my back. So Thank you so much again uh, for enabling me to be able to get an electric cement mixer.
I had planned to do quite a lot of different things today, but I had the vet appointment in the afternoon, so I didn't want to start with the pointing and mixing mortar, etc. And so I was going to paint my door to the cottage. But I never got onto that because I've spent a large part of the day carrying rocks. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I didn't get my orchard sorted either. It doesn't matter because tomorrow is another day. And you know what? There's no point in stressing about it. So, best word, I'm in here. Tomorrow's another day. So, keep safe, keep sane, and I'll see you, hopefully not as hot and sweaty as I am now, but I've just been moving rocks again. I'll see you in the next video. Can't